Heartbreak tonight when a three year old little boy dies after police say he accidentally shot himself. It happened Saturday afternoon in the parking lot of a Carrierville shopping center. WRG Shea Arthur is live tonight at the Bonner Children's Hospital with the latest on the case and Shea just heartbreaking news this evening. Yeah, Greg, Stephanie, this really is such a tragic case. Initially, that little boy was brought here to Lebanon Children's Hospital, but then sadly did not make it. And tonight, as we're now in summer vacation, more and more children are going to be home. Doctors, they have a warning. In this parking lot off Poplar in Collierville, police say a three-year-old boy somehow got his hands on a gun, shooting himself. It's always really devastating. That little boy later dying at the hospital. Right now, it's unclear how he was able to get a hold of the weapon. Investigators tell us other relatives were in the car at the time of that accidental shooting. There's a lot of remorse and sadness um, when this occurs. Tonight, while there's many questions in this case, doctors say all too often, too many children are getting a hold of guns. It's, it's pretty frustrating. Um, this is something that we see day in and day out, um, and it's preventable. Gunshot wounds are preventable both in adults and in children. Um, but it, it always is a little bit more sad than a three-year-old because they had so much left of their life um, and it was taken away so early. Looking ahead to the summer, Dr. Regan Williams, travel medical director at Lebanon Children's Hospital, says her team sees trauma go up. Children are out of school. She says families need to keep guns and ammunition locked and stored separately. It's not always enough to tell a child not to mess with the gun if they have access to it. They're curious little people and they tend to want to see what that is and, and play with it. And that's how we get accidental um, injuries. To combat these accidental injuries, Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris recently talked to us about his push for safe storage in the county. On Shelby County government, we created the first gun lock by mail program in the country, we believe. And so what that means, if you go to our website, we'll send you a gun lock in the mail for free. Uh, there's no other place you can get that done, but we need innovation in this community because we have so many accidental uh, shooting deaths, so many guns that are not safely stored. Prevention is key, and Stephanie Gregg, so far tonight, we do not know of any charges in this case. Collierville Police telling us it is still under investigation. For more information about those free gun locks that the mayor talked about there, you can, of course, just go to our website, WRG.com. Be sure to click on the story. We're live in the Medical District tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3.